What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Usually, I wouldn't start out on the loading screen, but there was recently a pretty substantial update, and I figured maybe there's a couple of you that would like to know more about it. So we've got three new cat and dog breeds, new combing mechanics or like brushing mechanics, new hat mechanics as well. So I guess we can put hats on our pets, which is pretty sick. There's a new house, which is actually like a railroad car or like a train car type thing. Two new parrots, rats, if you're into rats, I guess, and then 25 plus new items, probably more so like pet themed objects, I would assume. Anyways, let's get on with the episode. Today we're going to be tackling what I can only assume is going to be the final job with this DLC. But you never know, there could always be one more after this. It's the Home Clinic property. It says, saving the life of his kitty Oakley was a turning point in Alan's life. He decided it's never too late to start a career and he enrolled in a veterinarian school shortly after his 32nd birthday. Now an experienced vet, he's planning to move to Cozy Village with his family to help his old pal Morgan, whom we have met previously. He even found the perfect place to open a home clinic after some necessary adjustments, of course. So let's go ahead and accept it. We'll see what it uh, what it looks like. Ooh, I really like the pergola up there on the uh, on the top floor. Nice. Stairs look pretty cool too. It's sort of like a stilted looking house almost. I heard the news. See what he has and to I'm say. I'm all in for the idea of Morgan's pet care. The house is more than enough for a family with a cat. So I count on you to prepare a separate space for my home clinic. The first floor seems to be perfect for that. That's why I will need some basic equipment in there. I'll bring the specialized instruments with me later on. Okay. I have no clue what to do with the rest of the rooms, though my wife made a to-do list, so you should be fine. Good. I'm sure it will turn Good. out nicely. Good luck. Sweet. Thanks, Alan. Nice to meet you and stuff. The home clinic job, ladies and gents. I feel like this is going to be quite a bit of work. The first thing we're going to do is actually going to be going around and pulling weeds, unsurprisingly. I feel like if I don't just get this knocked out, you know, right out the gate, I'm just going to keep putting it off and maybe I'll end up not even, not even pulling them. So we'll just go through real quick. Get these all pulled, and then we can make our way into the property. And there we go. The deed is done. Easy as that. I actually want to enter through the garage, or garage doors, I suppose. We'll see what we've got going on in here. A little bit of, you know, tire tracks to clean up. That's to be expected. But I think we're going to be doing some walls in here, judging by the floor tiles that are missing. Usually the devs will uh, do us the solid of at least letting us know where they're going to go. And then no idea what that's going to be. But currently they just have a washer and dryer in here and some shelving units. Nothing too crazy. Typical looking garage. Let's head on up the stairs. We've got our favorite sun hats just chilling on the wall. Got a living room in here. Let's flip on the TV to the proper, proper screen. And then we'll also go through and just click on the lights as well. Surely we're going to have a light switch in here somewhere. Probably next to the front door. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. I like these cabinets and stuff. We can, of course, interact with them as well. Love to see stuff like that out on the balcony. Oh, dude, this place. I mean, you know, we probably would have seen this just walking around, but I wasn't really paying attention to the house as I was pulling weeds. It's got a wraparound balcony. That is really, really cool. So main floor is obviously the garage. I guess that's where he's wanting us to put his like home clinic at. Didn't he say the first floor? Something along those lines anyways. In here, at the moment we have an office. No, a bedroom. An office plus a bedroom. I've gotcha. Let's click on these really quick. There we be. I, I do get asked fairly regularly why I go through all the properties and you know click on all the lights. Um, for the before and after photos, usually the in-game lights are turned off. So if you just click them on, it makes your before and afters look way, way better. Also a pretty solid looking kitchen. It's a little cramped. You know, I'd like a little bit more space from the from the island, but it's all good. And then I think there is a bathroom in here. Oh no. Oh no, this is not a good look. 
Yuck, dude. We got pee pee poo poo tiles and stuff. No, 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 no. Let's just shut this door. We'll pretend that we didn't see that. Thankfully, they don't want us to do anything in the bedroom or in the bath. We've got a little bit to do in here, but it doesn't look like too terribly much. So let's head on upstairs to the top floor. Here's where we got the trash. Our favorite task. This is probably going to get sold. No. Really? We're not playing Thief Simulator. Yeah, I know that, but have you seen yourself, Door? You look bad. You, you look a little uh, worse for wear. We've got some dirt out here as well. Some mildew, some grossness we're going to have to get cleaned up. What about this one? Nope. All right, we're keeping the rustic look, at least for right now anyways. We'll continue cleaning up some trash. We've got some cobwebs up here. Surely this door is getting sold. There we go. At least we can do those two. We've got a uh, decent sized room over here. It's nothing too terribly huge. And then this is just kind of funky. I would have probably used this space for extra room for these rooms. But we've just got a randy hallway out there. That's, that's fine, I suppose. All right, trash gone. Dunzo. So with all the trash removed from up here, I'm just going to go around with our handy dandy mop and we'll get everything nice and clean. Got to make sure we get all the grossness that was out here. Oh, and we even have some on this wall. See, this could be a really, really cool house. I definitely, I see Alan's vision. I know what he's expecting and I think we can deliver. If this actually is going to be the last job, since after this, we're going to go through and actually purchase uh, one of these properties for ourself. And then of course we'll get a pet and do all that stuff too. But now I'm kind of torn because there's one house that has like a three or four car garage that I'm super, super interested in. But now this one too has a pretty decent sized spot down here. So I'm kind of tempted to get this one too. Maybe we'll just do both. Hey, you know what? That's probably the, the solution, right? But now that we've gone through and gotten everything cleaned up, we're going to get out our cell tool. And it looks like they'd just like us to liquidate everything in here and just straight up get rid of it all easy 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 now we're going to be building 79 walls and then 16 lintels that's also not a difficult task the way i like to go about building these walls especially when they sort of give us a blueprint to follow is pretty much just place down like single pillars just like this and then you can use your scroll wheel i'll, I'll show you that in here in a sec actually let me uh let me finish this here first. As I was saying, you can use your scroll wheel to just sort of fill in all the gaps after you get your basic pillars constructed. It just makes it go by quite a bit faster, makes it a little bit easier to do all this. Next up's gonna be lintels, pretty much the same thing, except I, I really wish we could just do the, the four wide like door frames with the scroll wheel, but it always goes one over. And I don't really know why that is. Just a little annoying you know it'd be nice if we could just scroll wheel it up like we do all the other openings but there we go we've got our lintels in place so all the doorways are now doorways you know i thought it was a little weird when we initially entered the garage that there's not a single light in here so looks like that's what we're going to be adding next we're going to start out with the light switch i suppose we'll just probably put that right next to the door kind of makes sense it's definitely not my first choice but for garage lighting I'd say it's pretty good. I would say it is pretty good. And then in here, I think we're just gonna be bringing this brick all the way around. So we'll place down a couple of packages of panels for that. In this first room, just off of the garage, looks like we're gonna be doing a front door. So this is probably gonna be the entry point, I would guess, to his at-home clinic, right? Sort of under the staircase. Little shady, little shady looking from an outsider's perspective, but Maybe his clients don't really care, I guess. I don't know. Like, like, look at this as I shut myself into the door. It's not that sketchy. Yeah, it's not that sketchy. Never mind. Never mind. Everything is cool. So now we've got some interior doors, or I guess just one of them. That's going to go right over here. Get that rotated around and placed just there. Looks good. And judging by these items here, I would say this is probably going to be like a waiting room type situation. Let's put this couch right up against the largest wall in the room. I guess it's either that one or this one, but I feel like that would kind of get in the way of the front entrance. And then there's actually an exit sign here. If we want this thing to point to a door, shouldn't we place it here? Right? That makes sense. 
That makes sense. I I'm good with that. And then we've got a classic coffee table. I'm going to change the wood maybe to white. I think that would look a little bit better in contrast with this couch. So we'll put that right about there. Seems pretty solid. Next up, we have a light switch, of course. Can't forget the light switch. I'll place that probably on this wall since this door is going to open up towards the right. Now we've got this really cool looking like pet themed wall hanger. I'm going to put that right up over here. So like right as you enter in, you could hang up your, I guess, dog's collar or, or animal's collar or your keys, your, your leash, whatever you got on you. Usually you would place a doormat like on the outside of your door, not on the inside. But since it's specific to this room, I think it actually needs to be placed inside of here. So we'll put that down right over there. Should be fine. Next, we've got a big old wall clock. So I'm just going to put that right above the couch just for a little bit of extra decoration. And then this bad boy, Billy, I'm going to probably put on this wall since it's pretty much the only place that we really have space for it at this point. This is where Alan sort of done goofed. He decided that it'd be best if we brought like the garage lighting into his home clinic. And I got to say, Alan, you would have been better off doing a nice classic ceiling titty. That would have been a much much better look in here, but with our radiator situated over there, let's go ahead and drop down just a couple more of these packages of panels. We're going to be installing just a few more, probably filling in all these blank walls. Now over in this room, this is probably going to be the clinic itself, is it not? And in here, a bathroom. Thankfully, he is interested in adding a window into this space, which is much, much needed. Otherwise, it's just going to feel kind of weird. I think he's actually got gold hardware on some of his other windows, but that looks kind of gross. I'm going to go with black hardware. I think that's going to be a little bit nicer looking. There we go. Get a new window added in there. Looking pretty good. We can even open it. Nice, 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 nice. I'm into it. Here we go. Now he's really thinking with his noodle. All right. We've got a couple of ceiling titties going in. We're going to place probably four roughly in the corners and then we'll do the fifth one roughly in the center i think that's fine right yeah that's pretty good plenty of light in here probably important for an at-home clinic i would assume next up we've got an indoor sliding glass door which is probably going to go in this opening right there i think we've actually got a couple of new objects in here that i don't think we've seen before like this grooming table Looking pretty good. Oh, also, I think, well, you guys have probably sort of figured this out at this point, but I'm planning on doing this job a little bit differently than we've done all the ones in the past. Usually, we sort of do specific tasks room by room by room, and then we come back through at the end of things and start getting all the furnishings in place. Today, I would like to tackle everything in a room all at once, if possible. If not, no big deal. We can put a couple of things off, like maybe the paneling and the, and the flooring and whatnot. Actually, speaking of flooring... Let's just go ahead and get the tile in this room so we can get that out of the way. We'll fill in this little doorway gap right there. We're not doing any flooring in here, are we? No. Okay. Flooring in the garage and in like the waiting room area is going to stay the same. What about this bathroom? Probably got a little bit of something different in here. Oh, yeah. A little checkerboard action. Wait a minute. Are these wall... They're wall tiles. They're wall tiles. No, that's my least favorite thing. It's just... It's so time consuming. Let's actually place... Probably five of those, I would think. And then we also, oddly enough, have some paint that he'd like us to put on these walls in addition to the tiles, which I don't... How are we going to do that? Oh, he only wants eight of these? Well, that's easy. We're just going to cover up this original brick that's over here on this wall then, because that should be all eight of them. Done deal. Now, of course, I've bought way too many of these wall tiles, so we're just going to sell those off. And then these walls... We're using, I didn't even see what color this was. It looks like it's just white. It totally is. It totally is. Great. We didn't need to buy that either. So back into the big home clinic area. Let's start with a fairly large object, probably these bookshelves. We've got one in the corner just to the left of us. I'm going to put the other just there. And then we need to find something that's going to fit fairly well in between them. Actually, this could work perfect. It's a cat aviary? Oh, okay. You know, I've seen these, but I don't think I really realized what they were actually called. 
I've decided to put these aviaries in the center of that wall, and then we kind of moved the, the bookshelves out just a little bit. So it's not all smooshed looking over there. I think that looks quite a bit nicer. Moving on to the next largest object, probably going to be the wash tub for large dogs. This bad boy is going to go right there. Of course, if we had our very own pet dog, we could call our dog up here if they were on the job with us, you know, and um, not sure what we could do. Maybe we could actually bathe them. Maybe they just jump up there and jump back down. Who knows? We will experiment with that when we actually do own a pet. Now we have a wash tub for small pups, of course. This one, let's put sort of near the other. Maybe just here. That should probably be okay. What else do we have that's fairly large? Two grooming tables. Here we go. This actually works out pretty well. I'm going to put this one in the corner and then put the other just next to it. There we be. So usually, right, when dogs get groomed, when they be bathed first, dried off, and then put on the grooming table, or they're probably dried on the grooming table with the blow dryer, and then you could do your trimming and whatnot on them. So, you know, just trying to figure out the flow, trying to figure out the workflow for this clinic. I think we've got a pretty, pretty good idea anyways. Let's huck one of these little pee pads right over here, just in front of that winder. And then we've got a pet-themed clock, of course. Hmm, where do we want to put this at? Maybe just on this wall. Now we've got two of these really tall wall radiators going in. I'm going to leave them in a stainless, just because I think they'll kind of match the grooming tables a little bit better that way. We've also placed down one of the water dishes, the automatic water bowl things that we have over there. And then next, we need some dog enclosures placed down. I definitely chose white. Why was that still brown? Well, maybe it'll update when we place it down. I oh, There it is. Okay. Wait a... There it goes. Uh, excuse me. Probably fine. Probably fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's place one of those right there. We'll place the other just over here. And then we only need 14 of these. So this little enclosure doesn't really have to be that large. I'm just going to bring it out to about there. Then we can scroll wheel it up, I think, and fill in the gaps. See, it's it's brown now. It's just like, eh, you don't really you don't really need the, the white, actually. I'm, I'm pretty sure you meant to place down brown. Game, I did not. I promise you I did not. I, I absolutely wanted the white, but is what it is. You know what? Is what it is. So this should probably be like a closed-in pen, but since they don't really need that many of them, I'm just going to leave it exactly the way it is. Hopefully that works out for them. Next, we have some wall panels. Wide, a little like ship lap. Okay, I can I can get down with that for sure. We'll do like four of those just for uh, good measure. And then we have the good dog wallpaper. I really like that. Let's do maybe five of those. Making our way back into the bathroom over here. We, of course, need a door. That's not going to go outside. That would be super, super weird. Let's place that down right about there. I think that should be okay. As long as it's not opening up against these groomer tables or grooming tables whatever those things are called. Let's place the light switch right about there. And next, a ceiling titty? No, the halogen lamps. Still solid choice. We're just gonna place these kind of in uh, in all four corners. Let's flip that on, see what we think about that. It could work. It could work for a bathroom. They could even come out from the wall a little bit further maybe, but for right now, I'd say that's probably good. We've got towel radiator, sink, and toilet. So this is just going to be a half bath, thankfully. I was kind of worried they were going to try to get us to squeeze an entire shower or worse, a bathtub in here. That's definitely not going to happen. See, I knew, you guys, right from the moment we met Alan, that he was our boy. And now it's even more obvious because he's chosen to go with the beloved mountable toilet, Flatty. Not fatty, as I've called it in the past, but, you know, is what it is. We're going to put that right about there. Go ahead and assemble it quick. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult. And there we be. The sink, too. I mean, dude's got great taste. He really does. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to turn that yet. This gonna be a leaker. Yep, this gonna be a leaker for sure. Hey, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Not even worried about it. Wait a minute. How did that... How did that actually not leak? Are you kidding me? Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. That's that's awesome. This towel radiator, on the other hand, there's a good chance that this thing's going to leak. So you just got to think about this, okay? The water's coming in this way, I believe, going up 
through the radiator. So we probably want to do bottom and then top. And then on this side, it'd be coming down. So we want to do top and then bottom. That's big brain. That's freaking galaxy brain right there. The last thing we have to add into this bathroom is going to be the mirror right above the sink over there. And then let's do probably a white hand towel. Hang that up just right there. Seems like a decent spot for it. And lastly, the golden toilet paper holder. That's going to go right up on that wall. There we go. The bathroom is complete. Lights are eh. I'm not super crazy about them, but I think it uh, it'll get the job done, you know? So let's let's come back to do the wall coverings, I think. We'll just head on upstairs, see what all we actually have to do up there. Because the main floor, hardly anything. Oh, we've got to add a, a couple of things for his cat. Let's do that first, I suppose. We've got a pretty decent sized, uh, super ugly cat tree. Let's change that up if possible. Okay, the wood, coarse dark oak, solid choice. And then I wasn't really paying attention to if they had any accent colors in this space, but we could give them one. We could just say, hey, your accent color is now blue. Oh, hang on, look at this. There's a little blue flower pot right on the dining room table. I think we made a good choice here. Only problem is where do we put it? We can't fit it. Well, we could kind of fit it under the stairs, I guess. Maybe right over here so the cat sort of has a, a bit of a view while he's up on his perch. I think he'd enjoy that. Or she. He or she would probably love that. As for the litter box, if we're going with the blue theme, let's just probably stick with that. And we can place that right in front of that window there. And lastly, they just need a nice, simple food and water bowl. And that's going to go right here. We'll, of course, fill it with food for them. Oh, the food bowl even has little cat ears on it. That's kind of cute. That is kind of cute. All right. That's all we had to do up here in the living room. I believe all the other rooms are good. So let's just make our way upstairs. We'll see what all we actually have to do up here. Starting off with a very, very big door. We're going to do the frame of that in white since all the other like windows and doors and stuff are uh, sort of already white in color. Super loud. Extremely loud. Okay, now that we have that door... The game's like, okay, listen, you're good. You can sell these doors now. You've done a good job. Now, we're going to be destroying some walls. My favorite pastime. I just have to figure out which walls. Be a real shame if we destroyed the wrong ones. Looks like we're going from here over to the right. Just four spaces. So that's probably going to be like a, a new doorway or something leading into that room. We're going to be placing some lintels up on the top. I suppose we should probably just do that right now so we don't forget later not that we would you know we're, we're not that dumb definitely not that dumb what the heck are we doing here though uh are we selling this can we sell this sure can sure can so right here bye bye and there bye bye oh this is just becoming instead of a a wide doorway it's just going to become a uh, a smaller one so let's do a wall here a wall here and then two more over on this side. That should be it for that one. So remember what I said about this being just one weird like hallway? Alan must have heard me because now I think this is actually going to be its its very own room. So these lintels, those are also going uh, bye bye And then just behind us as well, those are going bye bye And we're going to be filling that in with some full-size walls. This is pretty cool. Okay. I'm into it. I'm vibing with this property for sure. Still not 100% sure if I would uh, would like to purchase. Oh, no, that's not the right wall. If I would like to purchase this one. Still kind of on the fence about it, but we'll see when when all is said and done, which one I will uh, will actually be going with. Okay, that is all we had to do here. And the last thing we need is just four more lentils, just like that. So now we've got three rooms up here. In, well, I guess if you count the hallway, that'd be four instead of the original two or whatever it was. But we're not quite done in this space because next we have to sell a window. Which one? This one. Okay, that was pretty easy. We need just one package of these panels, probably eh, maybe two just to, you know, play it safe. We're going to be filling in these new walls right there with the existing brick. It's already in place. And then some new flooring as well. Is that not what it has already? It looks really similar. 
I'd be surprised if it's if it's different. Oh, it is just slightly though. We'll fill in that, and I guess we can complete the job now. Alan is is satisfied with the work we've done thus far, and he's like, you know what? You did good, kid. You did good. We have a bird cage, dude. That is so sick. I really want a bird now. I really, really want a bird now. Let's go with the white wood since it's a little dark up here. Don't want this bird to be depressed. You know, that would not be a good time. And judging by how massive this bird cage is, it kind of makes a little bit more sense now why we had to get rid of that one window. Oh, can we open? We can open the small ones too. Why does that get me excited? I don't know, but it's cool, you guys. Where is his like his or her food bowl and things? Can we can we feed Burb? Maybe not. Maybe not. If it were our own bird cage, I think we could probably get away with doing that, but I don't see any spots to um to actually feed them. Cool looking bird cage though. Really, really neat. As for the lighting in this room, we're just going with these like hanging boho-esque type lamps. Little ceiling lamps. They look pretty good. If I had to guess, this is probably going to be a bathroom for the two upstairs rooms, right? We'll see. We'll know from the tile. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, dude. These are wall tiles. Please make it stop. <laughs> I wish I wish we could like upgrade our um our tiling ability. I wish we could upgrade our tiling speed. You can, it's just I wish we could go further. Even uh even faster. So we're gonna be placing down maybe four or five of these and then probably four or five of these other ones moving on to the door instead of the gold hardware and handles we're gonna go with black steel just because it looks quite a bit better in my opinion that's gonna go right about there done deal next up we've got uh, some large objects in here surely this is pretty big that's really big, actually, for a for a bathroom. I'm going to place that down right about there. We're going with the white wood on it just because, you know, we've got a, a bunch of darker wood in here. I'm trying to keep things bright and cheerful and, and whatnot. Light switch is going to go... Door opens this way. Light switch is going to go right there. Seems good. Sink next. We need some sink plumbing. Oh, a double sink. That's big. That is big. We don't typically do double sinks. We're going to be using the Yule wooden cabinet with sinks, so I will try to space these accordingly. No leaks. No leaks. No leaks. Please. Please no leaks. Dude! It wouldn't be an episode of House Flipper, you guys, without a leaky sink. Happens every time. Believe me, every time. But we can just clean that up. I went with the, uh, the white wood again for reasons I explained previously but now i want to see what mirror we're gonna go with because i probably should have looked at that from the get-go seems like the same one that we used downstairs in the clinic just a lot wider so hopefully this thing's gonna fit right about there i guess that's pretty good not perfect wait a minute why do they want why do they want two of these jello mirrors jello what are you guys thinking being kind of weird isn't this, isn't this a thing that, like, people that talk to ghosts use? I don't remember what it's called, right? Some of you will probably know what I'm talking about. You have a mirror here, you have a mirror on the backside, so if you look into this one, you can see the reflection in the other, and it's just kind of like it keeps going and going and going. What are those called? Oh, that's gonna bother me. So maybe, maybe Alan's into some witchcraft or something. All right, I went ahead and got our basic, you know, bathroom decor in place. Everything except for the golden toilet paper the coveted golden toilet paper holder just because we obviously don't have a toilet just yet so let me think about this we, we probably need to like get rid of these and by get rid of i mean actually place on the wall um, before we can actually do all the toiletry installations and things so 20 of these and then 38 of these there's probably 10 walls on this side there's probably 10 walls on this side let's let's place these over here and then we can do these other ones on this wall or i guess these walls i think that's gonna make the most sense in here and there we go it actually doesn't look as bad as i thought it would you know the whole like brown tile and then like this tile going together in my mind it just wasn't looking good but when it's all said and done i don't think it's too bad so let's move on now to our 
toiletry installations. We're going to grab probably the bathtub installation first, since that is going to be the largest object in here. And then no shower, right? No shower. Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of space for this thing then. Place that over here. Make sure we get it unscrewed. I always forget you have to do the right side first for whatever reason. They, that's something they don't teach you in school right there. And then we're doing, ooh, a claw foot. Not, well, it's technically a claw foot, but it's not like the stereotypical looking claw foot tub that, uh, that I'm used to seeing. Let's do, let's do black hardware on that. Absolutely. That's going to look super, super good over here. Go ahead and get this thing installed. The plumbing for the, um, for the bathtubs is always just slightly different from everything else. And I, I really, really enjoy setting these things up. Because even for like each different bathtub, it's usually a little bit, a little bit different. No two tubs are the same. What do we got next? The old turlet. The old turlet. We'll see, um, we'll see if, if Alan is going to go with a flatty yet again. Oh, he's not. We're going with the compact. All right. I see you, Alan, trying to switch it up. Isn't that his name? I've already forgotten his name. I'm pretty sure it's Alan, but you never know. You never know. Toilet paper holder is going to go right there. And the last thing we need to add is going to be the towel radiator. We're going to take what we've learned about these towel radiators. And we're going to do the bottom. No, it's the top. Oh, you dumb dumb. Come on. Wait, no, it's not either. I'm pretty sure we I'm pretty sure we did that right. And it's still it still decided to leak on us. So no biggie. We'll just go ahead and clean up the little spillage there, and that is the bathroom complete. Honestly, kind of like it. Wasn't sure if it was going to look that great, but turned out okay. In this room, probably going to be a bedroom, I would assume. I almost said bathroom. We're going to place a can of paint right there, and then some good dog wallpaper. We'll do four of those. Move over into the other, probably, bedroom. A blue room and you're just gonna paint it blue again. I guess the texture on, on these walls is, is kind of bad, huh? So I'm guessing that's probably why we're redoing that. Back over into this room. See what we're gonna do for the floor. A different floor than what's in the hallway, which is an interesting choice. See what we're gonna do in this one. Probably the same floor we just done did. Absolutely. So we'll drag that from corner to corner. We've already filled in the door gaps with the hallway tile, so I don't think that uh, I don't think that matters too much. Next, we have a mountable short wide curtain that's gonna go right above this window. Get those screwed. Uh, what? Okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen. The screws are just going into nothing. Okay, and then we'll see if we're gonna do another one over here, probably. Oh no, over here we're doing some blinds. Okay, a little bit different. I can appreciate that. Let's get our hands back out. We can screw those in, place our blinds. Bob's your uncle. Back to the other room. We can start on the furnishings, I think. Oh, if it seems, if it seems like I'm sort of rushing through this episode today, I kind of am. I'm still obviously trying to take my time and make things look good, but today was my grandpa's 80th birthday so i went up and had breakfast with him and grandma and we had a pretty good time but i am kind of running behind schedule for today so that's why i'm kind of just blasting through this thing but like i said it's still gonna look good regardless you guys don't freak out ain't no reason to freak out we're gonna place a light switch over here see what we think of the ceiling titties looks pretty good to me. Now, before we move into furnishing these rooms up here, I think it's probably in our best interest if we at the very least go through and do like all the painting and the wall coverings and things in every room. You know, we've still got some bricks out here. We've got some stuff to do in the garage yet. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out and then we'll sort of regroup and finish up the furnishings. All right, ladies and gents, let's get furnishing this place. Of course, we're going to start with the largest object in the bedroom, which for a bedroom is going to be the bed. We'll place that right underneath the window, right about there. That looks pretty solid. We'll go ahead and make the bed for old Alan as well. You know, he's he's got his hands full. We don't We don't need him to be making his own bed and things. He's got a lot on his plate. I completely understand. Place that lamp there, get that turned on. Next up, Let's go with the Woody wardrobe. 
He's back at it. We're gonna plop this down right over in that corner of the room, just since there's quite a bit of wall space over there. Oh, and we also have the woody desk to match the woody wardrobe. We'll do a similar looking sort of wood design on this. And I think probably just in front of the bed actually is gonna be a good spot to put that down. So we'll place that down right there. Then we have the the jello, the jello double cupboard. Seems like we've got plenty of space to place this down right about there. Should be fine. Moving on, we have another large object, maybe. Oh, the hanging TV. Okay, that is a fairly large object. We'll place that right above the desk over here. Make sure we get that clicked on to the right channel, of course. Then we have an office chair. Let's change up. Let's change up like the leather on this to something yeah, a bit more like that. That looks pretty nice. This room's got quite a lot of brown going on. Definitely a lot of brown. We have a laptop. Get that rotated around. Place it just there. Oh yeah, this is the one that can open and close. We'll get the we'll get the keyboard like backlit and whatnot. Should be cool. Then we have a retro car wash poster. Put that on this wall since it's pretty bare. You know, it's it's not got a lot going on. Then we have a desk lamp. Place that right about here. Looks pretty good. And then honestly, that probably need to be up a little bit higher. But for right now, I'd say that is fine. And then right here, going to place a rug. Then we have some brown books. Where do we want to put these? I guess probably in the bookshelf, right? Definitely a suitable spot for some books. And we have just a few more. And I think that is all she wrote for this room. Odds are, you guys, odds are, you know, we just finished this room. I think the other one, just over here, is going to be exactly the same. Squeezing in the woody wardrobe in here is going to be a little difficult, but I think we can make it work. That doesn't seem like super out of place. I think that'll probably work out just fine. Now we have another... Little desk lamp, we'll get that rotated around just slightly. And lastly, we just have a few little decorative pieces. I'm gonna place that right there. We'll put the plant over here as well. Or should we do this in a different corner? Nah, I like it over here. And the hamster, the hamster would probably like it over here as well. A little change of scenery, you know, for the little guy. Next, we're gonna place that rug right there and do, I actually kinda like the white chair. Kind of breaks things up in this room a little bit. Place that right there. Sweet. Okay. Now you would think that the job is complete, but no. We still have the little uh, balcony out here to take care of. What the heck is this? Why have I never seen this panel before? That looks crazy, dude. Let's take this from corner to corner. Just like so. I think they call this stuff composite board. It's like plastic that's made to look like hardwood almost. I'm pretty sure that's what they got going on out here anyways. We have some of these hanging lights next. So let's do these in a similar way to how we've done them previously. Good old Alan really wants five of these things for whatever reason. So I'm just gonna place an additional one and the last one right there. Now we can just go through, get these turned on. So come time to take our before and after photos. Even the outside of the house is going to look a little bit nicer. So now that we have that done, next up we're going to be moving into the outdoor furniture. Let's actually place these. Well, let's see. What else do we have? We've got like a hammock and stuff. Okay, let's let's put these over here then. I think we're going to be doing two of them. So that one is going to go just here. This one we'll probably do... I don't know, should we do it on the same wall? No, there's not enough space. Not enough space over there. We'll place that down right about there. And then let's see if we have enough space for this hammock, dude. It's pretty cramped out here. It's not the biggest balcony I've ever seen. There's just no room. There's just no room out here, you guys. We've, we've got to do this over. I know it kind of seems stupid to do that, but I think, I think if we have the hammock on this side instead, it should give us all the space that we're looking for. All right, I think this configuration or this layout is probably going to work out just a little bit better. We've got quite a bit more space to walk around now. The only thing I'm having a hard time understanding is where the heck we're supposed to put these things. Unless you can actually hang these from like the rafters. Oh, you can. Okay, well, 
that answers that question, I guess. That's what we'll do. They only want, uh, looks like four of them out here. So we'll do two over there. And then we'll do two just on this side as well. Hopefully that's fairly centered and everything. Next up, we need a light switch. And then I think the last thing we have to place down... Ooh, yeah, that looks that looks quite a bit better. The last thing we have to place down is just these eight little flowers. This should be the entire house now complete. So I know you guys saw these bedrooms and things up here after we added in all the additional um, wall coverings and things. But what you haven't yet seen is the basement, right? Because we didn't have anything to do here. So now we actually have all the brick finished in this room in his actual clinic we've got the wallpaper over there and like the ship lap on this back wall here i think that looks pretty good and then we've also completed the brick in the garage but that is everything done for this house like i said i'm a little torn now because this house actually looks pretty good and it has a three car garage so i could theoretically move here but we're going to be completing this job now for thirty-nine thousand doll hairs and that my friends is a lot of doll hairs look at the balcony oh i should have got i should have got a thumbnail dude i should have got a screenshot from the outside of the property we'll see we didn't do anything outside other than remove the weeds so i highly doubt we're gonna get an exterior shot but you never know I think that bedroom's probably my favorite, the the tan or khaki one. Oh, there's an outdoor shot. Okay, we're good. The the blue bedroom though, it just the blue didn't really match the wallpaper, but the khaki one, perfect. Now that we're back at home, normally this is where I would wind the episode down, but I gotta make sure we do have another one. Oh, sweet, dude. Check this out. Okay, no spoilers though. I'm not gonna click on it. I don't even wanna know the name of the thing. You can see right here, that's the new train car house that was just added in the recent update. So kind of looking forward to checking that one out as well. But you guys, I do think that's where we're gonna wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Peace.